The Panama Canal was an engineering marvel when it was built in 1914, and is one of the most important engineering works of all time. Connecting the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean to avoid the long route around South America is an important achievement that has affected world history greatly, and it still plays a role in our modern lives. But before there was a canal, there was a railroad that was an important step in the creation of that canal. To link the Atlantic and Pacific without a long trip around South America has been a dream for centuries. Central America is the narrowest point between the two oceans, and in Panama, a 51-mile stretch of land that is close to sea level separates the two oceans. People have been taking boats to one side, and crossing by mule or on foot, and then getting in a boat on the other side for decades. This land crossing, although short, was treacherous, as it was through harsh jungle and on trails that were in less than satisfactory condition. In 1849, routes were beginning to be surveyed for a possible railroad to span the gap, and in May of 1950, work started. The Panama Railroad was sold on the New York Stock Exchange, and quickly became some of the most valuable stock in existence. Even before construction was complete, people were dying to use the railroad. After just seven miles of track had been laid, people were already riding trains along the route and crossing unfinished sections on mules and by canoe. By 1855, the railroad was finally completed and became one of the most successful in the world, charging $25 to travel the 47 miles. The railroad connected the Pacific and Atlantic coasts and allowed passengers to travel from Europe to the west coast of the United States and from Asia to the east coast of the United States. The French would go on to purchase a controlling stake in the company in 1881 as they prepared to build a canal, but this attempt at a canal would not be successful. In 1904, the U.S. government would purchase the railroad from the French and go on to build a canal of their own, and the railroad would play a vital role in the canal's construction. The railroad would haul supplies, men, and material around the canal site and would be integral to the construction of the canal. The railroad was also relocated during this time as the route it took would soon be flooded to make way for the canal. This allowed steam shovels mounted on rail cars to do the bulk of the work, as most of the excavation was done right next to existing tracks. The railroad was rerouted with the new alignment opening in 1912, just two years before the canal. Once the canal opened in 1914, the railroad fell out of use, as ships could now just sail through the canal, and maintenance was mostly forgotten on most of the line. The railroad was handed over to Panama in 1979, which allowed conditions to decline even more, and trains were eventually limited to just 10 miles per hour in the 1990s. But in 1998, the Panama government handed the railroad over to a private operator owned by the Kansas City Southern Railroad. Today, the railroad transports commuters and time-sensitive intermodal freight traffic parallel to the canal. The railroad was a valuable commodity when it first opened and played a vital role in the construction of the canal that would wind up diminishing its usability. But it ultimately was an important part of world history and the world would look completely different without it. Be sure to subscribe for more.